Um, coming at you from Dallas, Texas, the 8% event. Cody Axis has put on an incredible event. We're on day, what, like 47? Yeah, Phil's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like We've done welcome parties, conferences, Tim Tebow, Jesse Itzler, the It's been an absolute amazing event. And I ran into Adam. I've known Adam for a while now. I one time saw him eat two half pound cheeseburgers. Um, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> in Florida. And that alone was impressive. But Adam is one of the rare um, PNC agents here. So Adam, introduce yourself, tell everybody uh, where you're from and that stuff, and what brought you to essentially what's been known as a Medicare conference. Okay, yeah. So I'm, I'm Adam Mears, I'm from North Carolina. Um, I've been working with my dad for about four years in his PNC agency. Um, so I mean, what's kind of really brought me here I mean, I, when I first started the business, Cody Askins, he's, he's just everywhere. So I kind of started following him. And even though I didn't do a ton of life and health, I mean, he just teaches amazing principles. So this is my, this is my second time coming here. So I mean, just being in the room with people that just that do really well, I mean, you can learn from anybody. So that's really why I'm here, is just to kind of glean off of them. I, I love that mindset because I hear agents all the time, well, you know, I, I'm going to go to PNC conferences mm -hmm. or yeah. I'm going to go to life only conferences or I don't want to go to Grant Cardone stuff because I don't sell cars, right? Like right, yeah. people come up with these really weird roadblocks in their mind right. and, and I'm of that same school of thought. Like I can learn something from anybody, yeah. you know, either sometimes it's not how, how not to do things, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, it's, I, I love that you're here. Tell us a little bit about what your dad started and what your vision for taking it over is. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I kind of just started out just, it's, it's kind of interesting how I got into the business because I, I was doing another job, wasn't happy all my life. I was like, Dad, I don't want to do sales. I don't want to do insurance. He kept trying to get me growing up, but I just had to have a different path to kind of come back. Um, and so you also asked about vision, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, the vision is, I mean, he's, he's going to be probably retiring in about five to six years, so by you know, year eight or nine in the business, you know, hopefully I can take over some things for him and he can kind of have more of the freedom that they talk about here that he's been working up for all his life. So yeah, just, just trying to learn the business, help him with marketing and sales, just kind of wearing a lot of hats. Yeah. Stuff I like that. I love that because your dad, 30 years, right? Yes. He's been in the business for 30 years and he owns the referral industry, like, right? Like he's worked almost solely on referrals yeah. as, the, as the older agents have, right? Right, That right. was the game, you get in, mm -hmm. you, you name your company A something, Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's also at the top of those yeah. pages. He did the, the coffee meetings and probably a rotary club, the yes. lion club, and all yep. of that stuff. And, and that's so incredible what the agents of the past have built up for us, right? right. And, and the referral base. And I love how you're trying to marry the technology and the new trends without destroying what your dad did. Not destroying, but without discrediting what your dad is. Yeah, doing. disrupting or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that, it, it's so cool what you're doing. And I love your Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've been walk, learning stuff from you, of course, and um, like Joe Camper, who's also in my industry. Um, yeah, just just trying to be just just trying to be real. You guys have kind of taught me that. Just like show your day to day, but then kind of throw in you know educational pieces about about insurance, how I can be helped. Yeah, because I mean, I learned really quick like not to be spammy. You know, you, you got to be real. And they talked about that at this conference, like really be out there to help people. So I, I just try to just be consistent. That's the big thing we all struggle with. I've seen as I've been consistent that you know just creates the conversations on social media. So I just try to post real things about me and just kind of throw in pieces of things that can really help people and, and client success stories, stuff like that. Yep. And I love that because you're you're kind of you got one foot in the tradition and one foot in the new age, if you will, right? Yeah. Um, and it your what your dad didn't have that you have is the ability to create those relationships online, um, which is so cool. And then we, we bring the technology pieces in and all of that other stuff, and it just kind of takes all the hard work your dad's done and yeah. just kind of puts, puts a flame, uh, gasoline on it, right? Right, yeah. And the flame. Right. And then you have a bigger fire. Yes. And I mean, <laughs> and one thing that, that's helped with that technology is when I make these referral partnerships, when I kind of create these relationships, 
I'm, you know, we're, we're joining up on social media. I'm following them in their personal life and they're seeing my personal life. So yeah, it just really helps deepen that relationship yeah, to another level. Yeah. yeah. It feels like you're, oh, even with our friends, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, so you see your friend and you're like, oh, I see the kids have been great, right? And you're yeah. not calling them on the phone as much, which again, it's a double-edged sword, but right. we're still connected to a point. Right. Um, and that's something that aired at Suresales, we're really excited about. Like, we do need to do our branding and create our relationships on social media, but then we also launched the InsuraLink platform where agents can go in and get their questions answered. Nice. So yeah. I think that's a really cool next step that we're bringing into the game where uh, social media can be exhausting, right? It can steal some of your energy. It's still a lot of your energy yeah, yeah, a lot. Days are, right? <laughs> <laughs> so when we're trying to get answers to questions or connect with people that we've met at conferences and things like that, we've provided the platform where you can go in and strengthen those relationships without having to worry about upsetting a, you know, somebody in a group admin or saying the wrong thing on the wrong post and somebody taking it the wrong way. Um, so we're super excited about that. I know you're, you've jumped in and, and it's been kind of in a beta launch and this weekend we brought it out completely yeah. to the, the masses. So you can see folks, we want you to. Yes. You know, I love you guys. <laughs> I was you. Um, so uh, what's uh, what was one of your favorite uh, takeaways from the weekend? Oh my gosh, yeah. Switch things around. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> one thing that I've mentioned to people, I mean, it, it might sound simple, but it's just like get more obsessed with what you're doing. Be like, an, be more invested in like just educating people. Like I, I just kind of sat there like, yeah, I, there's a whole nother level of obsessed that I can reach. Yep. You know, we kind of like hit our plateaus as we have success. We're like, okay, now I'm on this level of success. I'm doing pretty good. But they're like, no, never take that foot off the gas. So that's just been one huge thing that's just really yep. stuck out again this week. I, I love that because there's so many different levels to success, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So it doesn't mean that you get busier. It doesn't mean that you take time away from your wife and your kids. Right. It means that you just continue. So for me, um, reading books is a big part of mine. Mm -hmm. And I was, as I had Gage and I took on more clients and, and now I'm doing publicity for insurance sales, reading physical books has always been a little bit tougher for me. I have a little human that just knocks them out of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> So I switched to Audible. So there's so many different ways that you can keep that foot on the gas mm -hmm. without taking time away. So I want you guys to really, really hear yes. that. That's been the theme of the weekend. Yeah. And I absolutely love that. Well, thank you so much for stopping yeah, by. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate it. You're yeah, thank awesome. you. Appreciate it. So excited. And he's got some cool stuff coming up. Oh. So catch yeah. him on Insurelink. Catch him on Facebook. He's going to see him do some.